The Phoenix Police Department is also looking to fill their ranks, increasing starting salaries for new officers this month. Leaders say that has already led to more applications at the police academy. Meanwhile, in Richmond, Virginia, the fire department there is cutting recruitment and training time from a year to as little as three months. The department says a lot of that will be in streamlining the hiring process and moving some of the testing online. The chief says the quality of training that new firefighters receive will not change. Right now, the department has 10 percent of its positions unfilled with a class of new recruits slated to fill in many of those positions in October. And as wildfires rage across the West, the U.S. Forest Service says hiring is down 10 percent from their goal this year, although in some regions vacancies are as high as 50 percent. This is all happening as we see recruiting and hiring issues facing police departments, the military, and schools all across the country. Joining me now is Captain Todd Keller of the Phoenix Fire Department. Uh, Captain Keller, thank you so much for, for being here. It's interesting what's happening, not just in Phoenix, but in other places too. So is this about uh, Phoenix just growing so quickly, or is it about people no longer wanting to be firefighters, or, or is it both? So our city is growing rapidly. We have over 200 people moving to the city of Phoenix every single day. We're, uh, we're not only growing internally, we're growing uh, in an urban rural growth. So we're growing up and we're growing out. So we need to have enough firemen and women, women to uh, meet the needs of the demand. We talked about response time. Uh, I think what, what they said was it, it used to be five minutes. It's now up to nine minutes. Um, that sounds like a long time. I mean, if your house is on fire, you've just been a car wreck, uh, that doesn't sound so good. Yes, absolutely. So your, your numbers are exactly correct. And that's a great question. So in the medical field, we have a thing we call time is tissue. So on uh, a heart attack or a drowning, those increased times are costing you tissue, which means they're costing you life. So it's very imperative that we keep those numbers down for your family, for my family, for anybody who activates the 911 system. So do you feel this when you go to work every day? Because, um, you know, we, we have the stats, but when you actually go into the firehouse and you guys are responding, is this something that like is a problem every single day? Do you see it? Um, we, we really don't see it because we have 100% customer service delivery system. So we always have fire trucks in service at every fire station. Um, at this point right now, we are running um, a lot of calls right now. And our goal is to get to that incident safely and quickly. We were uh, talking about bonuses, and this is happening now with, with the military. I think they're giving the biggest bonus that they've ever offered because they're so short. Police departments are doing it. Uh, the, the fire department there in Phoenix is doing it, too. D does that help? I mean, do you think that really convinces people, you know what, I think I'm going to take the step and do and become a firefighter? Yes, I, absolutely. I think it does. Anytime you bring a monetary incentive into anything, it is going to springboard people into um, signing up. So what your graph you had earlier was a $7,500 incentive for paramedics. So if you are a para, currently a paramedic and you get hired within the Phoenix Fire Department, you will receive that $7,500 uh, payment. You know, growing up, it's like every kid, I think, wants to be a firefighter. I was one of those kids. You know, you love yeah. the fire truck. Like, firefighters are our heroes, right? It's kind of the same with police officers. We know what's happening with, with police right now. They're, they're getting beat up pretty bad. But do you find that, that the same amount of people are interested in becoming firefighters as there were 10, 20 years ago? Or has that changed? Um, so I've been on 17 years, and I've... Uh, seeing all the new hires uh, that we have and we're all like-minded a lot of us are ex-athletes we're kind of wired the same we all want to help people we esteem others more than ourselves so through the 17 years almost two decades that i've been on the organization i don't think it's much changed because a lot of these firemen and women will come hang out at the fire station before what we call ride along so they'll get to know the process get to know the uh, men and women that work inside the firehouse so as far as uh, it being like maybe it's changed. The only thing has changed is the population of Phoenix. We are such a large city, and it's only fair to them that we 
meet their needs and respond to their calls in an appropriate time. Does it concern you at all? Uh, in, in we were talking about in Virginia, you know, they're ramping up the training and they're doing it more quickly because they need to get firefighters out on the street. It's hard to imagine that it's still the same level of training if you're going to do it that much faster. Is that a concern? Absolutely. Whenever you condense any kind of training or any kind of education, there may be gaps. But I can tell you that our training academies are 16 weeks. We have the best recruit training officers in the world. The city of Phoenix provides provides us with the best facilities. Mm. So uh, we are going to continue to have those 16 week academies. So as far as con condensing it, if we need to condense in a couple weeks, I can tell you that those firemen and women yeah. will be prepared for You'll the first day. You'll still do the. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming on, Captain. Keller, we yeah, appreciate all the so work much. you do in the first responders. It's been fun filling in this week. Dan's back Monday. Banfield starts now. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.